I can't think, yeah, I don't wanna stress I bought a foreign whip, but I don't wanna flex Step back and shoot, and it hit nothing but net I always win I need an arm leg, I need an arm head, Cardi and Lava leg, arm and leg, head it check, arm and leg, head it check. So whenever you're in the prelude, you want to get to this game right here. It's the Invitational High School game, and in this game, it's super easy to get bad progress. Like I said, I'm a 60 overall whenever I'm doing this, and I was able to spam up, you know, lobs and all that good stuff. So the first thing you want to do, get to this point right here, and then you want to quit and go to the NBA 2K20 main menu, and then from here, you want to quit out of the game completely, and then you want to reload the game. Make sure you do this step before you do the glitch, or I'm telling you, it's not going to work, and you're gonna get stuck on a team and then uh, you want to go ahead reload the game back up and then go ahead and reload the player up that you're currently doing the glitch on so it's my slash and playmaker i don't know if i'm going to upgrade this player i may save this player i might upgrade this player for boot camp i'm not exactly sure so now what you guys want to do go ahead and play this invitational game so this high school game you can spam every you can spam twice every 24 hours if you don't wait the whole 24 hours before you try and play it again then um you won't get any badge progress and believe me i've already tried it and it doesn't work so play this game like i said and also um whenever you're on defense just foul you can't foul out and that gives you even more time to get your badge progress so um like i said i just spam blobs the whole entire game because I, because i was going for playmaking badges but you can go for shooting finishing any of your defense whatever you guys want to do but the difficulty in this is so easy it's just so easy to get your badges so like i said i'm doing this i was doing this with a 60 overall player so you can see my stats right here and then look at and then you can peep look how much badge progress at my points i get right here so as far as my uh, playmaking goes i get a lot right here um i go up what two and a half badges almost almost go up three badges so once you get your vc what you guys want to do is hit the middle button go to nba 2k20 manage game and add-ons click on your user profile and then um delete from console and then once you do that go ahead and reload the game back up make sure you guys hit delete from console do not delete from everywhere or you'll lo lose all of your players and then you want to go ahead reload the game back up and then go back to the the player that you're currently uh, doing the glitch on and then repeat the same thing go ahead and play that high school game once again so like i said you can only do this twice every 24 hours but you can also spam the unlimited my player nation game which is double badge progress double beat vc and double my points as much as you would like so that's what i'm telling you guys um watch the video and that's what i'm telling you guys this is basically two glitches mixed in one and it's super fire no cap so again i've done the same exact thing i threw lobs the whole entire game i foul whenever i was on defense which gave me more time on offense so again this is the second game that i played you can see my, my points is shooting up and then i'm gonna get a lot for my playmaking once again so that's already uh what four badges four and a half badges so far so again once your vc loads up you want to hit the middle button on your console and then click uh, press start on NBA 2K20, manage game and add-ons, go down to save data, click on, your, click on your user profile and then hit delete from console and make sure you guys don't hit delete from everywhere or you'll lose all your players. Go ahead, reload the game back up. So now I've already done, I've already played the invitational game twice. So now I can play as many unlimited my player nation games as I would like. So to do that, go to the neighborhood, hit yes right here. So this will take you to the neighborhood and you'll be able to pick a team. So this team right here, make sure you pick one that has a My Player Nation game available. So in my case, I just went to the Milwaukee Bucks just because I was going for playmaking badges and it's super easy to get playmaking badges by throwing lobs and stuff on this team. So from here, you'll be loaded into the neighborhood and then you wanna go ahead and play your My Player Nation game. So, like I said, you can play the high school game twice every 24 hours, and then you can play as many unlimited My Player Nation games as you would like. So, uh, from here, go ahead, play that. You want to play that My Player Nation game, so you'll be loaded into the game and just try to get as much bass progress as you possibly can. This was a little difficult for me because I'm a 60 overall, so whenever I play the actual uh, the My Player Nation games, it was a little hard for me to actually be able to throw logs, but, you know, like I said, I've done the best that I could. So, um... 
you'll see my stats here in a moment and then uh, you'll see right here the game is over with so you'll see the double my points double badge progress and then double VC right here All right, so you see I'm getting double everything. So basically you do the same exact thing as you would in the Invitational game. Once you get your VC, that's whenever you're just gonna wanna go ahead and uh, clear up your saved data. So like I said, you can spam as many unlimited my player nation games as you would like. Once you get your VC, NBA 2K20 manage game and add-ons, go down and save data, click A on your user profile, delete from console, and then you can reload the game back up. You can play as many unlimited my player nation games as you would like, but for the video purposes, I didn't wanna make the video too long. So now where you're gonna see, and then I'm gonna reload the game back up here, and then I'm gonna go back to the uh, the player that I've been doing the glitch on, just to show you guys that you won't get stuck on a team if you do this. You know the way that I'm showing you guys. As you guys can see, this is the same 60 overall player. And then um, so now what I did is I came back 24 hours later, and then now I'm just gonna repeat the same exact process that I already showed you guys. So um, 24 hours later, and then I'm gonna click on this uh, slash and playmaker that I've been doing the glitch on. Remember guys, whenever you first start this glitch, you do wanna load up the player and then you wanna quit out. And then once you quit out, you wanna uh, quit out of NBA 2K20 completely and then you wanna reload the game. This prevents you from getting stuck on a team. So make sure you do this step whenever you do this glitch every 24 hours just to prevent yourself from getting stuck on a team. So now once you reload, go ahead and uh, load up the player that you've been doing the glitch on. So I'm gonna show you guys, this is the same exact player that I showed you guys, you know, the previous 24 hours. I'm gonna go to the badges. You can see I have my, I have the five playmaking badges that I earned from, you know, doing the, the glitch previously. So now I'm able to do the uh, high school invitational game twice, once again, which is gonna give me, you know, crazy badge progress. Like it's just so easy to get badge progress in this. And then um, I don't know why, but, just the difficulty is so easy so again go ahead click on this game and then in this game i just done the same exact thing i spam lobs and then i would file whenever i'm defense which gives me even more time on offense so i got like a lot right here um i was able to get off a bunch of lobs and then um you're gonna see right here i get almost like what fifty thousand for my playmaking which is really crazy like it gives me a lot right here um so you're gonna see i get my my points once again this is me 24 hours later um, and then I get my playmaking. I get a lot right here, no cap. So there's uh, two more playmaking badges. And then once your VC loads up, you just wanna do the same exact thing. Hit the middle button on your Xbox, NBA 2K20, manage game and add-ons. Um, and then go to save data, click A on your user profile and then delete from console. Just make sure you don't delete from everywhere or you'll lose your players. And then go ahead and reload the game back up. So now I can play this high school invitational game once again, and then you can you know play as many unlimited my player nation games as you would like. But I'm gonna show you guys me playing this high school game once again, and you can see I'm gonna show you guys I get my badges. I got two badges right there, just to show you guys that this is legit. You know, no, not some of you guys be trying to you know accuse me of posting fake content. Nothing ever fake will be posted on my on my channel, as you guys should already know. So um. When I showed you guys my badge progress, so now I'm gonna play this high school game for the second time, and um, I'm gonna do the same exact, the same exact thing. So in this game right here, I don't know why, but it was just hard for me to throw lobs. I felt like the AI was on it, so I didn't get as much badge progress as I previously did before. I still go up like I think I go up one and a half badges, which is still perfect. I mean, I'm a 60 overall. So it's kind of difficult anyway, but for the most part, it's extremely easy to get your badges. So um, you can see my mob points go up once again, and then I get um, another playmaking badge. And then again, once your VC loads up, um, just clear your save data on your Xbox, NBA 2K20, manage game and add-ons, save data, click A on your user profile, delete from console, and just make sure you guys don't accidentally delete from everywhere. And then now, like I said, you can spam as many um, unlimited My Player Nation games as you would like in between the 24 hours whenever you're waiting. So, um, I loaded the game back up. So now I'm gonna go back to my career file. You can see this is the same exact slash and playmaker 60 overall that I've been doing the glitch on this whole entire time. 
So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna load him up, and now um, what you guys wanna do, go back into the neighborhood to play the Unlimited My Player Nation games. You wanna go back into the neighborhood, and then you wanna select on a team that has a, a game available. So I, in this case, this is 24 hours later, and then so now, this is more like two days later because I waited a couple of days to finish the video, but anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna select on the Milwaukee Bucks once again because I looked on the My Player Nation tab and I knew that they had a game for this day. So now go ahead, uh, select on that team, and then you'll be loaded back into the neighborhood. And then from here, go ahead and play that um, that My Player Nation game. So in this game, again, double VC, double, double bash progress, all that. I'm doing this with a, with a 60 overall, so it was a little difficult for, for me to be able to like throw lo lobs and whatnot. But you know, I did pretty decent in this game. It wasn't too bad. Um, you can see I was able to throw 12 lobs, so that's pretty good considering I'm a 60 overall. If I had like if I upgraded my player, then it would be super easy for me to just um, ISO and throw as many lobs as possible. So again, double my points, double badge progress. You see, I go up another, almost another badge right here, and then I get double VC. So once your VC loads up, NBA 2K20, manage game and add-ons. Go to save data, click A on user profile, and then delete from console. And then from here, what you can do is you can keep playing as many Unlimited My Player Nation games as you would like, or you can come back 24 hours later and spend the high school game, you know, twice, and you just repeat the same process. So like I said, it's super fire. This is two glitches in one. I wanted to show you guys that this is the same exact player. You can see I was able to earn eight badges in total that you saw at the beginning of the video. So yeah, man, um, this was the, you know, the glitch I told you guys I had been working on. Previously, I don't believe I waited 24 hours in between the high school games, so I thought it didn't work properly, but I finally was able to get it to work, and as you guys can see, you can literally get a lot of badge progress. Like, this is easy, literally the easiest badge glitch out on NBA 2K20.